Right guys, so today what I'm going to try and do is be a little bit educational. So that's probably going to hurt my brain more than yours. So what I have set up here, this is your typical pre-phase lift Eaton M62 supercharger setup minus the supercharger. So you've got your intake pipes and your outlet. Um, so what I want to do is explain why Mercedes did it this way, what we can do to improve it, and the size of all the piping. So let's start with the size of all the piping. The intake is, a, I think it's about two and a half inch. Um, the outlet is 50 mil or two inch, and the same goes for the bypass valve except when you get to the bypass valve Mercedes opened it up to 50, 54 or 55 mil either way you need um, a reducer to go from 54 to 51 mil um, if you plan on relocating the bypass valve that is which is what I plan to do with the intake setup I've got in my mind and drawn on a piece of paper over there but I'm not going to show that yet because I want to make it I want to try it and I want to see if it works as I plan which is to keep it quiet still um, so obviously two and a half inch that's a reasonable size intake um, except until you get to the air box where it ends up with that 50 mil restrictor on there which obviously for a 2.3 is no good on the intake pipes there's a lot of silencing so when we go to any kind of just a tubular setup no silencing so take this pipe for example if you just stuck silicon couplers on there and made your own two and a half or three inch inlet you've got no silencing on this part so you're going to add noise there, you're going to add noise at the air box because you haven't got the silencing from the air box and the filter's not encased. Um, so that's going to amplify your whine quite a lot. Now the other thing you can do is because these are so commonly fitted to like MX-5s and that, it's great because you can get all the stainless steel flanges, stainless or mild steel flanges to be able to make your own intake which is something that I plan to do but what I want to do is not make it stupidly loud again I want to try and use some of Mercedes way of thinking to keep it quiet but also have a larger amount of flow um, because let's face it, these superchargers can flow a lot more air. Um, they're relatively detuned for the setup they're in. Although they are already creating some quite high intake temperatures, this is why so many people port the charger. Now, if I had one spare, I'd have had it all mocked up here and shown you the intake, but there's so many porting videos out there for the Eaton M62. If you're curious about how big the um, outlet is just go and hit up one of them videos and you'll see and you'll see how much people open up the intake we've done it ourselves um, didn't notice a huge amount of difference but we weren't overdriving it a lot we only had crank pulleys which is uh, it's, it's only a small percentage overdriven using a crank pulley I think um, whereas if you use an actual supercharged pulley and go for the declutch method you can over spin the charger a hell of a lot more but I personally don't recommend pushing it past 14,000 rpm because that's when you could start running into serious issues there's many people that do there's many people that do but personally I wouldn't push one past 14,000 rpm that's my view of it um, the only thing I'm not quite sure of is this little 
part, almost reference part that goes to the um, little swirl part off the um, off the cam cover. Um, I haven't had enough coffee this morning, so I'm trying to wake up. Anyway, I'm going to take this apart, show you uh, show you the other side, and uh, hopefully, if this works, do a smoke test as well. So what we have here is the three main parts of the intake. We've got the intake pipe to the supercharger, we've got the intake to airbox pipe, and we've got the outlet manifold of the M62 supercharger. So the first things you'll notice are these weird protrusions from the pipe. And what these protrusions are here for are for silencing. And I believe the way they work is obviously as the air is being drawn in, it's also caught here. But any noise coming through the intake system ends up somehow getting bounced around in here and is drawn with the flow of air back into the supercharger. I think that's the concept behind this. I might not be right, but that's the only thing I can come up with. Similar to if you you hear noise travelling in the wind, if you're downstream of an event, you can hear it. Um, if you're upstream, you can't hear it. A similar principle, I think, applies in this intake. So you've got one here, one here, and one here. And the um, even though these little silencing ports cause turbulence, Mercedes have actually tried to um, sort of counteract some of the turbulence caused in the intake because what you'll notice is it has to go around quite a sharp angle and that makes things a bit um, a bit interesting when it comes to airflow and that's why they added this little divider shelf thing um, and basically what that does is if you think about airflow um, the easiest way to explain it is on a racetrack if someone's got the inside line the person on the inside line is going to get round the corner quicker than the person that's taken the outside line that's as simple as I can put it, and the same applies with airflow. Now, what Mercedes have tried to do by placing this here is to divide it into two fairly equal parts and share the airflow to reduce the turbulence. So, by doing this, they've probably halved the amount of turbulence caused. Um, now, a lot of people do take this out to open it up, and there's probably not really much harm in doing that. But what I want to do today, and the smoke machine's now warmed up, is try and show what happens with this, with smoke going through it. Although it's not being drawn through, it's the best thing I can do to try and show the flow. So I'll be back with you with that. Right, so as you can see, sort of the flow between the top and the bottom stays relatively the same um, it's not the most scientific <laughs> way of testing I had a hairdryer and a smoke machine um, it, it's not gonna look great but I tried to show how that divider helps keep the flow relatively the same um, but the problem was the hairdryer kept out doing the smoke machine so I couldn't really give a equal um, visual on what it was supposed to be doing but anyway I've done it that's why that divider plates there um, it gives you a vague idea of what it's doing and that it is doing something if I had I, I was gonna bring another one and I wish I wish I had but I don't have a Dremel um, and I would have done an example of without with and without it but that's just showing it does do something but there's not much harm in removing it, I don't think. What we have here is the outlet manifold of the supercharger, intercooler end, bypass valve end, obviously bolts to the supercharger. We've got a silencer chamber there, and this, whatever it is, reference pipe. I'm not gonna try and know what that does. Um, 
With the stock power, we're running this two inch pipe is fine. Um, if you're porting it uh, and overspinning the supercharger, you probably want to uh, make your own, um, which because these are so commonly fitted to the Mazda MX-5, uh, Miata, whatever you want to call it, um, the steel and mild steel plates are readily available for them. I can't remember whether I've already said that, I probably have. Um, so you can make your own intake and out, outlet manifolds. Um, which is something I plan to do um, but yeah basically very simple and that's 50 mil 50 mil just so you know the sizes um, there's only one small silencing chamber on this and there's nothing really to talk about with this one it's the most simple one out of all of them so yeah right so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was useful. The smoke test was a little bit of fun. It didn't exactly go to plan. Um, I've sort of tried to keep it as short as I can, but I know it's already over 11 minutes. It is what it is. Um, it would be great if you've watched it to this point um, and given us some watch time because we really need the watch time at the minute. Um, trying to get those hours up. Um, it would be nice to one day make this monetized. Um, but yeah, for any of you thinking about modifying your intake, I hope this has been useful. You don't have to tear your car apart to get your measurements and that. We've done it so many times now. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe guys. Really appreciate it, as you have been doing. Uh, share as much as you can as well, if you want. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.